Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft. And as you can see here, we will be building this wonderfully simple and cheaply put together. Uh, that's going to be moved up two blocks. I forgot about that. This cobblestone, this garden house is going to be put together cheaply. And we're going to be using mostly cobblestone, a little bit of wood, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some water, some dirt. So just your basics to start off. You're going to need some um, dirt blocks, actually. Let's say dirt blocks. If you do it in creative, it'll look like this. But um, that actually should just be a dirt block. Imagine that as a dirt block. Grass block or dirt block. Cobblestone. Cobblestone stairs. Cobblestone slabs. Some uh, colored wool of your choice. Some, this will just make it easier when your eyes, when you look at it at a glance, as you can tell. White wool, some cyan wool, I think it is. Yellow wool, and some stone. You may need some stone to fill in places such as this. Little patches of random grass that you may come across. You want to make a little neater inside your house. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this blue wool because I do need to do an edit here. I'm going to come up this way. Um, I realized after I did this prep that this needs to be up to more. You'll see why later, but all right. So this is going to be tall because this is going to be a two-story little survival home, and then it's going to branch off into your garden. It's going to be right next door. That that's all that's going to be here. So let's just break this down. And then we'll cover and count the blocks out again for the first time here. Again for me. <laughs> and we're not doing anything fancy with the roof on your survival home, your main survival home. But we'll make it a little bit of a lean, a lean to on for your traditional little greenhouse next to your log cabin or your cobblestone whichever you have available to use i'm using cobblestone because this was actually a mountain and i just punched it out and for the sake of the construction let's imagine you've come across mountains you've got a lot of mountains in your world wherever you're at and so what you've done is you spent a good few days mining out a little area and by little, I mean a 9 by 7 and then a 9 by 8 side by side. So totaling, you want an extra couple blocks just to do some fencing or put in some grass around your house. That will help spawn in animals if you want or for view. This is just fine too. So you want a block roughly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, by 12. And that's a good radius for you, and you can do it by 13 if you want to give it another space. I've just thrown it in here. So you can see I've had to cut quite a bit out of the mountain and you can see there are some good minerals. You might get yourself, for example, some coal, some iron, who knows, some grass. Look at what was just buried underneath it here. About what, maybe 10 to 15 blocks down from the top. All right, and then again, this is the simple house, nine by seven, I think it was again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, this is supposed to be I think it's a little bit different. Nine by eight, I wound up having to build it. I tried to do nine by seven and then another nine by seven. Didn't quite mathematically come out though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there you have it. A nine by seven and a nine by eight for your greenhouse. Now, 
that is all we're going to be covering just using cobblestone and we're just building when you do it into a mountain and you just rip out a hole it gives you materials and a nice solid area and you don't have to cut out for a space around it but when you, since you're building one with a greenhouse you'll want to have that space in the field now and this one I didn't really think it through I do apologize but theoretically you may build your house you're living in first so you can have a spawn area if you want to you may want to reverse this build and have your greenhouse leaning out towards the open area and have your survival house in set on the inside of your builds that's another another idea now we're just doing the framing here here we're leaving the space for the door and the window here big window here at floor level and we're just using the stone that's already existing for a nice solid floor you're gonna have a window here this is the greenhouse we're gonna have a big window here two windows here window here here and this wall is going to open up now that we've gone to this stage you can see that the roof is going to angle down a little bit and we're going to have a huge skylight here in the top of the roof to add in as much light as we need in this area right here we're going to have the door going up into the house here and this you're actually going to leave this part of the wall is going to be missing from the greenhouse and we're going to only be using for the break of the roof and to keep mobs out we're going to have just the support beams on either side and a truss cross there that's all you're going to need and this is why this is going to be your it's going to be up here and be walking a block up here it's going to be dirt dirt water dirt dirt water and another dirt very simple garden all right and so now that we've got our frame set up and we know what it's going to be looking like just like this you're going to have it here you're going to go one two three down one one two three four down one two three here's your corner it's only be up one two three and four on the corner here it's just going to run right across here. You have the same on the back side. So it's going to mirror itself. As you can see, it just looks like a big old zigzag, like a lightning bolt. It's going to mirror itself. And you can pause this video at any time you need to. And now I'm just going to let you see. I've colored it all, filled it in with colored wool so it's easier. You can see this is going to be the greenhouse, big windows this is going to be your house and up above we'll work in that later this is going to be a second story I had to extend this out a little bit <laughs> so i could walk around and show and have a big window here we may get a bigger window there i'm not sure yet because we want to leave space we may fill that in we'll see we're going to just build as we go on the interior the exterior is more or less going to stay just how you see it here and so now I'll back up a little bit. So now you can see you're going to have your two story survival home and your small greenhouse there. And as you can see here, nothing super fancy. And we're going to count now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight high. So it's a nine by seven house by eight high. And you have a nine by eight green house. That will be one, two, three, four, five, six high. All right, and now we're going to take out the wool and we're going to put in our cobblestone. And over here again, you're going to see the basic of what's going to be used today grass blocks, cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slab, white wool, blue wool, yellow wool, and stone. And now 
The reason I'm saying stone is because as you're building, you'll often have, say, a crafting table, probably a chest set out, and a furnace as you're tearing through and mining. You might even have a little mini hut off to the side somewhere. That's just how Minecraft goes. You want to be safe while you're building, because it'll often, it'll get dark on you. And then you're going to need to deal with that. So we've got our cobblestone. Let's grab the, we'll have our torch out, crafting table. Let's grab our necessities and, and the door. And we're just, I'm knocking out the door so that I can do this a little easier. We're just going to start here at the frame. Nice and slow, one at a time. And we're just going to go fill this in. Now, I would speed this if I could, but right now I'm recording live on Twitch, so just bear with me and we'll get this done quickly as possible. I'm just going to fly, make this a little bit easier. <laughs> that would drive me crazy. But, got rid of that. We'll deal with the interior, like I said, after we build our little humble abodes. Can I reach the roof? Okay. Again, we're just doing the walls. We're just doing the framing of the house. Nothing huge just yet. Fill it in. Oh, I missed. Don't worry about that hole later. <laughs> See? It's easy to make mistakes. Especially in creative. <laughs> and I only have it set to break four blocks away, but that's still feel like I do so much damage. And I'm not going fast either. You can see that I'm not going super fast. So you should be able to follow along. All we're doing again, putting in our walls. Highlight that block. Not that block. Would have had to mine that one back out. I saw that, didn't you? <laughs> now, if there is some other kind of builds you would like to see put together, just leave me a whisper or leave me a comment. It's easier for me to locate whispers than to dig through and watch a whole video for a comment. So I'm asking people to just follow me and whisper me. That way it's easier to find your questions and comments and feel free to talk in chat. I do check chats after filming as often as I can. I am married. I do have two toddlers and um, they occupy the rest of my time. Joyously, mind you. But I do take time every week to go through review videos and check for whispers and comments. I don't always make it through all the videos I make every week. I, I do videos and I try to review as much as I can, but again, it can be time consuming. It can be time consuming. Let's grab the blue wool. 
So we're not getting to the roof just yet. And this is why I grabbed the torches. Let's just put some light here. There we go. And on the other end, for now. And you would do this in survival too. And now we will move the cobblestone up. We've cooked some cobblestone. We're going to fill in our floor. Make it all stone. This is to make it more secured and so that it matches. Now later on you might want to add some colored wool carpet or just some colored wool blocks even. Make sure you get it underneath your door too. That's always a good thing to do. Alright, let's grab the cobblestone back again. And now we're just going to carefully fill in the foundation right here. This framing in all the way all around. Now we've got a couple of options here. I'm not sure which one will look a little better with the cobblestone. Let's find out. Alright, so one of the easiest things you can gather quickly from around Minecraft is dyes, dandelions for to make yellow stained glass make some dyes and cactuses to cook in your uh, stove in your furnace cook in your furnace to get some green dye for green glass so very simple it just adds a little bit of color let's do a big green window which looks pretty natural and let's try a yellow one I killed it. <laughs> we'll fix it here in a moment. But so far, so the yellow looks pretty good. Yellow and gray, not really liking it though. I have to admit, the green almost completely blends in and just looks better. This stands out. You want one to stand out? It's like. Go with the yellow. But you know, what? let's let's stick with the green. I'm gonna stick with the green. Grab my stone. Ah, no, I twitched. <laughs> well, let's just get this straightened out underneath it here. Yep, there we go. Well, I think we're stone all the way around, just about now. Hit it. One more. Ugh. Okay, just secure your foundation. We'll check uh, through that along the way as we go. Okay, and that's taken care of. Let's put in our other window downstairs here. And we're good to go there. Throw that up there. Alright, so if you collected your sand, you've cooked it in the furnace, you've cooked some cactus, because you know, almost always come across the desert in the beginning of games. So that's what uh, usually happens to me. So if you don't come across any cactus, grab up some dandelion. They're pretty well much anywhere. And make yourself some quick, simple yellow dye. Or whatever flower you stumble across. Woo, look at that. I was going to forget a window. Uh, again, another 2 by 3 there. And we're getting a good amount of decent light in here. Alright, so we've taken care of that for now. And now we're going to move on. Let's get the next area set up. Oop, no, no, no. Cobblestone. Let's finish the wall here on the interior on this side. Nice and easy. 
the idea here is to share light from one area to the next. And, oh, what? Oh, that's right. That's going to be the door. Okay. <laughs> I was about to get dumbfounded myself. All right. And I believe this will work. We're going to try leaving a two by three big window here for now. We'll see how it goes as we go along. Since I shouldn't be needing that just yet, let's get rid of that for now. Grab the stone, we'll put it next to the grass block. Not there, actually, over here. All right, we want to be secured for the night, so we set up our walls. It's almost completely done. So let's just set up our exterior door so that we're taking care of it. That's just an oak door, it's just a simple oak door. And then we've got this area here, and we're gonna grab our stairs right here. I'm going to put in one stair. And we want it flush with the rest of the house. So we have one door here into the next section. And this is looking good, actually. And then we're going to have... We won't need stairs on this side, that's right. But now I'm going to go into fly mode. And just finish putting in cobblestone right here. No problem. And we'll go up on the outside and gently put that all in. And then now that we have this done, we'll go ahead and take care of the roof. And a quick, easy way when you're constructing something tall like this is to simply put in a ladder and watch how simple this is keep going have a little bit just slap it in there there we go and then you can take it all the way up as you're crafting more materials and just walk yourself along just like that Knock out the wool or whatever block you're using, maybe dirt. That works too. Again, this is just visual aid. Use whatever you have in handy. And then later, it's a quick way to get up on the roof if you ever need to take a look about or get away from something and sh kill it from the roof like say zombies or pigmen or maybe not spiders they can climb up the ladder and follow you they will or skeletons and then well, I looked too far down. That's not what you want to do. But now you can see the roof is done. And now all you have to do is ride your ladder right back down. And then if you want, you can destroy the ladder and recollect the materials or leave it there. As you're going down the ladder, you'll want to break it off. When you're building a tall construction like this, that's what I meant to say. You'll want to mine the ladder as you're going down. That can be tricky, but it is possible. And just keep in mind, if you fall from a height like that, more than, say, seven blocks, you will take damage. You will definitely take damage anything that's four blocks or higher. So have some food handy in case you fall off the ladder while you're doing it. Okay, we've got the windows in, we've got the exterior door, interior door, and then the roof is now complete. Uh, we're going to work on setting up the greenhouse. Let's get this done. Carefully break that block. And now we're just going to break that one block there. Oops, I hit the window thing. 
We'll leave that. Let's grab our glass. We're just going to go along and fill this in. Assuming, of course, you're packing around materials with you. <laughs> you know how it is. You're just going back and forth, getting everything taken care of. Alright, let's do that one block there. And that one block there. And let's grab the window. Be gentle. There we go. Put in the windows. There we are. It's gonna look good. Now another common color you might use, because some of those flowers are findable. I think it's the azulet, or I'm not sure how to say it. You may find some flowers to make some gray dye. And that would look real natural, too. I want to say it's daisies, but it may not be. We'll find another uh, white flowers to make some quick white dye. Make your window a little bit brighter. You can do that as well. Very natural for a greenhouse. All right, carefully. Ooh. This is not the easy part, but I'll try to do it. Err. Just use the edge. Just carefully reach. You'll probably want to stand up and replace the blocks as you walk backwards and then just drop down or build a ladder up again and use that as scaffolding. Or if you happen to have some bamboo with you on your way to the mountain, who knows, you may do that as well. All depends. You're going to need, need uh, nine buckets, nine empty buckets for this. One crafting table. Some chests. I would say I usually average a good six to ten large chests in these builds. At least two beds. And since you're already going to have a green dye, we're going to have green beds today. A little more color to the house. Following our color palette design. There you are. And there's not going to be another door. This is going to be completely walled in and secured as much as possible. We may add some more glass in on that side. Wasn't sure how I really wanted to have it go just yet. But let's go in and finish this part, the interior, carefully. This is the tricky part. Oh, that's right. I was just trying to leave a gap there. I don't think it really will be necessary, but it does look good. That one's flush. Let's take that out and let's just have a glass corner. I think it will look okay. That way we have two large windows on that side too. There we go. Alright, and now let's get rid of the glass for right now. We're just going to switch back to the cobblestone. Just gonna fly right up here and put it in. Just fill in the roof. Nice and easy. And again, just use some simple scaffolding. Oh right, I 
meant to go back and fill that one in. Use some blocks right up into the center here and put a ladder in. It's a safe way to quickly do it. Or you can build it from the roof itself. Just fill it in. And continue one block at a time. Nice laid back building. Not too terribly difficult. And there you have it. And then just going to fill it in. And there you go. And now we're going to set this up. And as you can see here, the wall that would be here, a secondary wall, is left out. And we just have the support being going across from the roof and the two corners to keep mobs out. We're going to have dirt put in here and, and it'll turn into grass on its own. And we're going to have an area for water. We'll count how much dirt exactly you're going to need as soon as we're done. And we're going to have another strip of water. This will having more water in here is going to help stuff just grow a little quicker. Let's put a cobble. Actually, let's put the cobblestone up and keep the glass handy. All right now, and as you can see, let's count how much dirt you're going to need. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. You will need 35 blocks of dirt or grass blocks if you're going to do it in creative. 35 blocks of dirt or grass blocks. And you will need nine buckets, nine empty buckets, which we're going to go fill with water to fill up these areas. That'll be a little quicker. Lots of buckets. Whole row of buckets. So this whole row right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, will be full of empty buckets when you fill up with water. Okay, so now you can see the bases was laid out. And we're going to use a ladder instead of stairs to get to the second story. And since we're cooking it up, we're going to make it a little sturdier right above the door and the window here. We're going to have a second story. And then right actually in the corner. Let's go to the corner. It's going to be where the ladder is going to be put. You should be able to reach this easily and punch in your floor, no problem. You can see the floor. So upstairs you're going to have three blocks space. It's going to give you two blocks space above your beds. It makes it a little short. Yes, I know. I wouldn't be worried about that too much. It'll be fine. Alright, so we have that set up. And now we're just going to grab our ladder. Make it a little bit easier. I'm going to add the extra one right up above the floor line. Make it a little easier. For getting up and down quickly. And then we're going to deal with the downstairs. We're gonna, no reason I didn't exactly say how big one window is going to be on this side or not was because we do need an area where we can lay down our crafting and everything else. So let's see if we can pull this off. Let's go ahead and put in a couple furnaces. One is okay in the beginning but let's just assume that you're going to be doing a lot of stuff as you go. You'll start off with one, but as you can see, there's room to put in three. But when you're first starting out, just a furnace, just a crafting table, 
And for cooking your food on, you'll want to have a, a gap around it. Put in a campfire. And you'll want some storage too. So a good place to set up storage would be right along here. And this is also why we've got the ladder here. So I think we can just put in two right here, just like that. There you've got some quick simple storage downstairs. And then right here on either side, because they should be able to open both, I believe, now with the updates. So you can still open those. So you have some single chests right here on either side. And you're good to go. And there's some quick simple storage right here. And then And then we're good we're basically set for just the intro and if you want you can also put a couple more here so there you go you've got storage just like that downstairs then if you want later on you can always make some adjustments but for now you've got this area here now to keep from accidentally hurting yourself and the fire I recommend that you squat down like so bend down get close to the fire and you're gonna place did I miss I missed you're gonna place a block on top of the fire here okay get up on the edge there we go paste a slab on top of the fire and that will keep you from getting too close to the fire and getting yourself caught on fire and burning, losing health. And you don't necessarily need to put in a chimney. So it's fine. But you could if you want to make it more decorative. Have a hole going out. <laughs> it's not necessary though. But there you have it. So now you have your basic quick setup downstairs. Let's go ahead and finish laying out the garden. Oh, and you'll need another thing. I nearly forgot, my goodness. Don't forget your tool. The hoe, you will need a hoe. There we go. So let's get that going. Okay, so we're done putting in the basics there. And we're done with the door. Now let's grab our no, not the furnace. I twitched again. Let's grab our bed. Let's get the upstairs finished real quick. Now we're going to go right upstairs. Oh, don't forget your torches. Now let's torch this room up. Inset one. And we'll just light up the upstairs real quick. There we go. Nice and bright. Grab our bed, put a bed there, and a bed there. And we've got space here. Throw in another bed. And there you have it. I think that's actually, oh, no, no, no. Let's pick up that bed. That was actually my bed. That's my bed this time. How did I have that calculated out? It's right here. Yes, I think that was actually going to work. That way we have our little space. You don't want to fall down the hole if you get popped off. So there you go, and it's just big enough. You can fit three beds up here. You could do four if you flip it this way and put it one space. You could put in four if you need to. There you go, three beds. Then everybody likes storage, right? So then you can just go ahead and grab one of these corners, whichever direction you feel would be best. Let's do it this way. There. Now we have some storage here for everybody's individual storage. 
And then if you want, you can always add in one more chest here. So everybody up here has a chest. And you could just use a simple sign on the chest to label them if you want. So everybody here has a personal space. And then you can have your shared chest down below for miscellaneous and monster drops and mining and all that. So plenty of storage. And now let's go ahead and finish the garden itself. We're going to put all of this up. And we're going to grab our nine empty buckets. We're going to put, oh, we do want to put in the torches, don't we? Let's do that real quick. Let's light up the greenhouse before we do anything else. Because they probably would do that. They probably would do that. Let's just put in torch, torch, a torch roughly there, and one there, one there, and one there. Or was it? Save that. We'll save that and that. We'll put our buckets there. Okay. All right. Let's slip out. And now, because you've come up to this mountain, you've just got some cobblestones there. And because it's real jagged, you'll probably build zigzaggedly a little bit too. And look, I just threw in some ladders to. Make it easier and then I built some more stairs. No problem. Got myself a little platform here. Now all I have to do is fill up my nine empty buckets. Now see in creative you actually just grab up the water and um, your bucket doesn't actually fill with water now. <laughs> that used to not be the way. So we're going to go to our buckets, to the water bucket, and we're going to get nine buckets of filled, pre-filled buckets of water. And we're going to come back up here. This is so you don't have to take as many trips. Now, I don't want to accidentally throw water somewhere, so give yourself a free hand. Recommended. And now we can grab our bucket back down again when we need it. But we'll leave that open hand, like I said. Going to put it just like so. And as you can see, since we're in creative, those buckets will all stay full. So, of course, you'll empty it along. And then it's good to put one on the very, very ends just to make sure it's completely full. Hop across here. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buckets of water. And since we're in creative, <laughs> let me throw that down there. I'm gonna get rid of these real quick so I can have my space back. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the hoe and I'm we're gonna assuming we've already gathered up some seeds, got some cactus. And since you've already been to the desert, probably, hopefully, you should have some sugar cane too. Don't forget your sugar cane. And now, we will use the hoe to turn our dirt and grass blocks into proper gardening area. You will need some sand. This is why you will need the sand because I, I, I missed, I skipped a step. Yes, I did. There we go. And let's plant our grasses, our wheat, if you will. And then over here. Now see how the sugar cane won't go there, but it will go on the sand. You're going to need sand. No. Do 
Didn't do that one fast enough. And now, see that. See how the cactus, usually the cactus would go on that. But let's see. It's being stubborn. Oh, it could be because of the glass. I wonder. No. The cactus goes on differently now. Oh, and see, sometimes that happens. You step on a seed and it comes up. You just replant it. All right. And then anywhere where there are gaps, you can put in more sugar cane. Or you can put in some, didn't mean to do that, you can put in some more dirt and plant some other things like beets or potatoes when you go and visit a village. In any case, you get the idea. Just fill it in with whatever you can, whatever you've collected. And there you go, and it should grow pretty nicely. And this used to not happen so often, but it does now. You can accidentally break a seed by walking on it. So you might want to leave some areas on the outskirts of just dirt so you can collect. But I like to maximize my garden, so I plant everything. <laughs> so there you have it. Very simple, quick layout. Again, some chests around the windows, big windows to let in light. You can tear out a window as you go, like for example this wall here, or the inner wall. If you need to, you could break out the glass and put in a bigger chest and just have a single window to let some light in from one side to the other. It's all a matter of just how much you want and how much you don't want. It's really up to you. And now, now we can put in some more light. And make sure the place stays very lit. And if you're in a high elevation area, put in extra torches to help keep your greenhouse warm. And if you go to the nether, another good tip is to climb down and dig out a block underneath your water because it helps light it up and warm it up. And you can put in glowstone blocks, glowstone, underneath of your water. So there we have it. Some chests to store stuff in, a campfire to cook food, a crafting table, and a furnace. And again, upstairs real quick. We've got a chest in here, one for each person, a nice large chest, and three beds could put in a fourth bed but again it's going to cut into putting in some extra storage and we've got the greenhouse set up growing we've got cactus we've got shirt cane and we've got wheat going and that's all it is in a nutshell so you have your quick simple cheap survival home is now complete except for the roof we're going to finish the roof now actually and just to Make sure to keep mobs away from your house. It's always good to add in extra light. There we go. On the outside on. And you can go all the way around if you want. It's up to you. Now we're going to get rid of this and we're going to finish out the roof now. I'm going to grab the slabs and I'm going to grab the stairs. Let's see. I'm going to fix this. And oh, and the cobblestone. I'm just going to come up here. Look, I, I missed one. <laughs> All right. And now to add in some quick finishing touches, we're going to break out this piece. And we're going to set it up so that we can have the skylight coming in. Actually, Let's do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave a stair in on that side too. And we're just going to pull this back. Okay. 
Right, I need to grab the glass, haven't I? There we go. And now, we're just going to have it all match up. Just like that. And then we'll cut this back. Oh, not upside down. Put in next stairs right here. And as you can see, now it just flows a little bit. And now we'll pull back the camera and you can see how it just angles back down off of the main house a little bit. And now we're going to grab our glass right here. Here it should be. And we're going to put in our skylight here. Inset one. And then right behind the stairs, I'm going to break that out. And you can go back down in and collect it, mine these out. And there we go. This is just going to let some light in. Do one right here too. Yes, yes. And we'll have a little one here. Single block wide. There we go. And one more right here. And we will also do another single block wide right here. And there you go. And now you can smoothly walk across here and shoot any enemies down below. Do some safe monster hunting from the safety of your rooftop. And I recommend a couple more things. One, torches on your roof to keep mobs from spawning on your roof. Always a good thing. Right, and set one, and set one. All right, and then just throw in a few right here in the center. Help keep it very lit up. And then right here on the sides, let's put a torch there, a torch there, and a torch here, and a torch here. There we go. And now, right here on the corners. And there you have it. It's lit up. And again, you can hunt for monsters from the safety of the rooftop. And then just like earlier, this is why I said you could choose to go ahead and just leave the ladder that you used. Just have your quick up down area. Oh. And there you go. Now you can quickly get up down. Be careful. <laughs> Don't want to go over the edge. But there you have it. Secured area. I think we finished that completely. So now you've got a way up down that you can hunt for monsters around your house. You've got your garden. It's very lit up. And I think it comes together nicely. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I hope you enjoyed the quick simple tutorial today. Again, if you feel like it's too closed in upstairs, you can always add in some windows. Again, I was just building it cheaply, so I just kept the windows to a minimum. I just did them all downstairs. Oh, I hope this inspires you to look into some more simple builds for your Minecraft adventures. And I will see you next time on Minecraft. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Hey, and if you're watching this video on Twitch, thank you so much. And on YouTube, thank you so much for everyone who's been giving me views. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.